Hi everybody, this is Alex Backman reporting from the, the front line here at the U.S.-Mexico border to inform you of the latest with regard to the hordes of humanity. Not only Hondurans, not only Salvadorans, not only Nicaraguans, not only people from Guatemala that stormed through our southern border. I am here to inform you, and I'm very sad to say this, that our president Enrique Peña Nieto has not done anything to stop this invasion of uh, all these illegals that just stormed into our country. Now more caravans are forming south of the border. There's one stuck in Oaxaca. Everybody in Oaxaca is now denying them um, help. Nobody's giving them um, transportation or anything because they know what they are. Uh, we have also another uh, contingent, a, a big group of more than 2,000 in Veracruz, staying in Veracruz that want to reach Mexico City. In Veracruz is a problem right now that uh, I was uh, being told uh, by people on the ground, people that were filming the, the groups that already arrived to Mexico City a couple of days ago. They overran basically one of the stadiums, uh, the sports facilities, the stadiums uh, in the eastern part of the city. Uh, it's called Sports City. And basically, uh, the Mexican uh, government in Mexico City is offering help, food, necessities, uh, uh, also clothing, and they're offering them medical assistance. But the reality of the problem is being magnified as we speak with what is happening along these routes as they reach the nation's capital. The first thing they're doing, they're robbing. They're stealing, they're stealing, they're raping, okay, people that did not ask for this. In Songalica, Veracruz, a professor, a woman, was uh, at knife point robbed by a Honduran illegal. That was today. This weekend, as they arrived to Mexico City from Veracruz, this very large contingent, we're talking about 6,000 of them, that already arrived to Mexico City, and get this, you're gonna see what they're doing now. But this was during the weekend. When they were marching, people were trying to film them through their cars, and what they did is they stopped the cars, they demanded to have the phones so that the images and photographs of them were deleted. Normal immigrants that do not give a shit about who films them or not would not protest, right? Well, obviously, they have something to hide. They probably have a wrap, a sheet, uh, 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 criminals, uh, criminal background, etc. The other thing that uh, we have been seeing is that when they see empty vehicles, if you're driving on your own, you're not carpooling or anything, if you're just behind the wheel, they will stop you and they will get into your car by force. If you do not agree, they will take you out of the car and leave you stranded on the highway while they steal your vehicle. Now, this is happening right now. The immigrants, we are calling them now the migratory marabunta in Spanish. Marabunta is a phenomena of invasion of ants. This is a phenomena by these uh, soldier ants in Africa that just storm a, a town and eat everything in its wake. The same thing in South America. The difference between the Marabunta ant in South America is that they have a, they have a stinger which with, the, with, with which they sting people or animal or whatever. And now this is what's happening now. They came in. They're not peaceful at all. They stormed through our border. They attacked the federal police. And now what we're getting is that as they arrived in Mexico City and rested for a couple of days, right now as we speak, they are marching. Out of the 6,000, 2,000 of them are marching strong across Mexico City through the heart of the capital city to uh, a very exclusive residential and business sector of Mexico City, Polanco, okay, where the headquarters of the United Nations is stationed. They are protesting that they want asylum in Mexico. Asylum? 
Why can't they ask for asylum in their home country of Honduras, where obviously the United Nations also operates? I mean, really, are we going to believe this crap? Obviously, there's an agenda. The president of Guatemala and Honduras are asking for formal investigations and criminal criminal charges, charges against those responsible. We know that it's the leftist party, the, <clears throat> the parties in Honduras that started forming these caravans on the 12th of October. We know that there is financing by different groups from the left. We know that um, Pueblo Sin Fronteras, which is a foundation that is financed by George Soros and company, is, is being uh, supportive of these uh, immigrant invasions of our country. These fake exodus, these uh, fifth column attacks have to stop, okay? Um, our president, Enrique Peña Nieto, has not done anything. He hasn't sent the military south of the border. He hasn't done anything to stop the immigration. Now, what I have for you right now is what I said yesterday, and uh, I'm going to report this to you right now. Uh, with regard to what we have from people, okay, here it is. Uh, there's a there's a lack of power in Mexico. Enrique Peña Nieto is not doing his job, okay. Um, and with regard to that, the news is. Uh, I spoke with somebody within the government, all right, yesterday on the phone within the Mexican government. He told me that, in fact, this is already verified. There's more caravans coming and forming from Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela. You heard that right, people. They're coming. And uh, since our future uh, Ministry of the Interior, learn this name, our future Ministry of Interior, her name is Olga Sanchez Cordero. She announced last week that she's giving a million visas to anybody that wants to come into Mexico. A million working visas. Mexico ha unemployment, uh, its uh, figures right now are at an all-time low. Mexico is really bad economically. And now with the left, uh, government, the leftist government coming into power on the 1st of December, that's in three weeks. And uh, guess who's coming to the party? Nicolas Maduro, the narco dictator from Venezuela. He's going to attend the inauguration of Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador as president of Mexico. But not only that. Guess who's coming to town? Kim Jong-un from North Korea is also arriving. He's right now in Havana, Cuba, waiting for the great moment. So you see, as Hugo Chavez also visited the inauguration of Vicente Fox back in the day, he wasn't a dictator full-fledged yet. Now we're seeing that a full-fledged dictator is uh, arriving to the party uh, to congratulate Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Now, you see Mexico already sold itself to the left, as we can see. Uh, Russia has also said that it's going to invest heavily in Mexico in its new airport. They're going to open up at least 10 maquiladoras uh, for military production in Mexico. One of them in Mexicali, Baja California. 10% of what is going to be produced in Mexico is going to be given to the Mexican military. Uh, also, no taxes, free of taxes for the Russians and Mr. Putin is going to build his military factories. They're going to build MiGs and uh, tanks and armored vehicles in Mexico. So uh, the military invasion that Russia would probably do doesn't have to, you know, involve bringing all its military transport from Russia all the way to the Americas. No, they can just quickly fa uh, manufacture it down in Mexico. In 2009, a truck driver contacted me he was coming through Guatemala into Chiapas at Tapachula, and he stopped to take a leak on the border. And this is a real deal. I'm not kidding you. I talked to John Moore about this. I wasn't even on his show of talking about this. Uh, and Jerry Corsi knows, too, from World Net Daily. So I spoke to him about it, too. He saw, as he was taking a leak on the side of the road, he went into the jungle, you know, and uh, he saw thousands and thousands and thousands of tanks, okay? They had a red star on them. I, I don't know if they're North Korean, Chinese, or Russian, but they are here. And they're planning an invasion. So I, I'm just putting that out there so you know that this is coming down the line. All right? 
So I'm very sorry for Rogelio Martinez and his family. He's a border patrol agent that was just killed by immigrants uh, in Western Texas while defending the U.S. border. Um, he was killed with huge rocks uh, thrown at his head. His partner is still in the hospital. I'm not going to release his name. But you know what, America? This is really happening right now. And you have every right uh, to demand a border wall and uh, to defend yourselves uh, from uh, what is happening right now. Uh, I want to show you a video from Captain Clay Higgins on border security. Uh, he he just did a video up on YouTube, and I want I want you to see this video so you have a better idea of. Uh, about hold on a right second. Here. Let me just put it here Look on the, the screen for you. Is full of rocks. The next time you see no. the Mexican border is about 50 yards to my right here. To my, the Mexican border is about 50 yards to my right here. Look at the terrain behind me, it's full of rocks. The next time you see a liberal reporter complaining about border patrol returning fire on some 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 poor poor illegal immigrant throwing little pebbles at them, you understand? This is not what they're throwing. They're throwing this, all right? So if you don't and if you don't think this is a lethal weapon, you obviously haven't read the Bible very much. Look at this vehicle right here. Look how these men have to equip their vehicle. Look at this. They had to design this and build this. You don't buy this at a cop store. Agents had to figure this out and design it and weld it themselves. Look at this vehicle. This is how these men got to ride around in this territory. And how did they respond in reality, in the really real world? Look, these are less than lethal weapons right here. Right? They essentially fire paintballs with pepper spray in them, with a little pepper powder. Now, if I'm a border agent and somebody's throwing this at, at me and I, I'm in danger of, of, of losing my life with this, I'm going to turn the fire with a Glock. You can think what you want about that. Thank you very much. There you go. You see? So um, that's that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Uh, they asked me to do an update in English. That's what I'm doing right now. I want to thank uh, Captain Clay Higgins uh, on this video. Uh, I, I am a Mexican journalist here in Mexico. I'm a border resident. I'm very worried about what's coming down the line here in Tijuana. Uh, they're going to storm here. They want to take down the, the wall. They want to go to Playa de Tijuana. That's the main focus of these people. They're still accumulating. Some of them want to turn back. Some of them want to stay, thankfully, in Mexico City. But Mexico does not need these illegals either. Uh, so now we have this, the deployment of the National Guard. Uh, Edgar uh, Ramirez appeared on uh, Mexican media. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he's, I think he, uh, he works for, um, uh, he's the special aggregate or attache of national security, Department of Homeland Security down in the Mexican embassy in Mexico City. And he said uh, uh, a lot of things on Mexican media clarifying that Donald Trump is not going to use uh, uh, or apply the use of force with the military. They're here, they're here for logistical purposes, which is obvious, uh, supporting the National Guard and such. We don't want our, our border shut down. We don't want uh, jihadists coming up the border. We know that the Mara Salvatrucha already was, uh, one of them was detained uh, just uh, this week. It was on Breitbart News. Uh, we know that the MS-13 gangs right now are marching in Mexico City. Uh, people have been reporting them going through the through the streets of Mexico City marching um, and they have robbed mugged uh, and they even raped already so it's already starting it's starting here it's affecting the capital of Mexico and this is what they want now um, Mexican media is downplaying this and supporting the immigrants and playing it out as a uh, poor little immigrants they're just uh, families you know mothers and children trying to get to the US border well, the truth is totally different from what the Mexican media is uh, spinning. Uh, the, obviously, the leftist media is supporting this. So Edgar Ramirez uh, said before um, a radio formula with Pepe Cardenas in Mexico two days ago that the interna international laws does not allow them, uh, does not allow these immigrants to choose where they're going to get their help from. Uh, if they go to the UN, the UN is going to assign assign them asylum if need be, in another country. And in fact, their petition does not even qualify for asylum, is what he said. So uh, refugee status is out of the question. 
Uh, there's not a war down uh, where they are. There's no reason for them to, to just storm into another country and create chaos. Uh, so basically, that this is what's coming down. Uh, we know that uh, Central America has a lot of uh, economical problems. So does Mexico. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? I mean, the reason for all of this happening is because the left uh, prepared it in the uh, firsthand. Now, the new future um, foreign secretary of Mexico, no, the immigration director of Mexico, uh, Tonatiu Guillén, he's uh, going to enter on the 1st of December. He says that, no, they're going to uh, respect all uh, human rights of these uh, uh, immigrants and they're going to help them out. So basically, Mexico has already turned its cheek with regard to the use of force. The Mexican military is not being deployed. Uh, they're storming through our border. More are coming from Brazil and south of the border. And you know what? Uh, Colombia and Venezuela, I mean, all these countries are not at fault. Who's at fault is the left and those people with enough money that are throwing them packs of money on the road so they get to their places where they want to go. And they're being manipulated by leaders that are political movements that are telling them, you got to do this, you got to do that. You got to uh, demand this, demand that. So um, anyway, the position here is very, very serious. And uh, the killing of uh, Rogelio Martinez, a Border Patrol agent on the border last uh, weekend, is something terrible. This needs to stop. Rock throwing is the use of a weapon. As uh, the sheriff from Texas said, the use of a rock as a weapon is uh, also in the Bible. Okay, who killed Cain? Who who killed Abel? Cain, right? He used a rock. So a rock is a weapon. So, do you think? And I want you to comment. Do you think that the U.S. Border Patrol is doing a good job in saving uh, immigrants from uh, harm's way, or do you think they are they are the threat, or do you think these illegals uh, don't know what they're doing? For, Right now I have on Breitbart News, not kidding you, Border Patrol rescues Central American immigrant from drowning. Right now. Okay? Can you read that? Yeah, you see that right there? Okay, I'm not kidding you. Okay? It's right there. So there you go. And then they're, they're making the U.S. look bad down here in Mexico. The U.S. is the enemy. Uh, on the headlines in the newspaper, I'm not kidding you, Donald Trump gave a green light to use deadly force against the immigrants when they reached the border using the U.S. military. That's how they're putting it on the newspapers here south of the border, that the U.S. is the enemy against the immigrants. Okay, so anyway, have a, have a good Thanksgiving, America. Bye-bye.